the lift has arrived. You can see right here, it comes on a big pallet. It's got a pallet on the bottom, three boxes strapped all up. Crate's a little bit worse for wear, coming in with all the shipping. It's a lot of weight. Got some scratch marks along right here from shifting probably in the truck. I'll deal with the shipping company on that one. See how bad it looks. I'm not gonna send it back unless there's broken stuff or dents just because it's probably not gonna be worth it. But that's how she comes in. So I got it all in position. I'll move the trailer out when it's cooler because it's 107 degrees right now. And I'm dedicated, but I'm not that dedicated. <laughs> it's too damn hot. So I'll transition some of these boxes over on my trailer and then start breaking down that crate to get the base out somehow. And then I'll uh, move the trailer out and get some space so I can slide that over and bust down that crate. And then when she's all set to go, I'll bring old Sif in here. That's her name, by the way, Sif, the gray wolf. And uh, very cool, like it. So we'll get that up on there and see how it works. I've got my compressor all set up right here. So good solid little tank right there. Ran a hose up to the top up there. Mounted that up. Put a 90 degree on that to take it over and just ran it down. And then I have another cable, another hose in the other garage that I'll just hook up as a secondary that I can lay across the floor and only use when I'm trying to, to run that thing. Hopefully these chocks will stop this thing from sliding when I throw the weight on it. But my lift is here and we will start playing with it and getting it assembled and I'll record that so you guys can see what's going on. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, great, camera set up. Laid out here in the middle. We'll see what happens and go from there. Sounds good. Cool. So have everything unpacked. I uh, got it all kind of laid out so you can see what all comes with it. Kind of spared you the crate carnage and the pallet carnage that I took everything apart. It was, it was brutal, but somewhat rewarding. Uh, it's 101 degrees here right now, so it's a bit warm. So I've been kind of jumping in and out, but kind of give you an idea. You've got the side rails here. You've got the extensions that come on there that come with uh, some grip tape you've got the lift itself you've got this bar that they don't say much about in the instructions but i'm guessing it goes back behind here to give it some stability to go through there you've got the wheel drop plate you've got the rear extension uh, that goes on the back of the lift behind it to match up with those that also comes with some grip tape which again i'm not going to use i have my own got the shift pedal You've got the little jack, scissor jack that comes with it. It's got two little sliders, two different adjustments, a pin to hold it in place once you get it, which is kind of cool. And a hand crank thing there. And then again, here's the, the side panel. 
these bars are, I'm guessing, going to be for mounting the side rails. And this is the extension that will go out here to make this uh, extended piece right there. I think it takes it up to like 121 inches or something, but I don't have a chopper. I just have standard bikes. So I don't think I need to worry about that. And then you got the wheel vice equipment and pieces and the hardware for that. I'm not going to use that. I have a Condor that uh, I bought that I'm gonna put on there because I do a lot of this stuff by myself. So <clears throat> I don't wanna risk an 850 pound rolling up and even though I can less it on the kickstand, have to balance it, I'd just rather have her lock it in place. And then I'll be covering the top of all this with grip tape once it's all done just for good footing and because there's a lot of scratches. We got scratches here, scratches there. There's a big nice dent in here on uh, one of these side panels, which I'm kind of upset about, but I think the grip tape will cover it. Uh, but I'll deal with the manufacturer on that. They ask you to take pictures when it's shipped. So as you guys will see in the video, when I received it, I ran around and took a bunch of pictures of the box and the pallets and everything else to show any potential damage. And big surprise, that thing's all dented up. That's all scratched up where it was. This was face down, so I guess it probably just got dung up when they placed it in the crates. The crate was a makeshift crate. There was a bunch of pieces of wood in there that built it up. It wasn't like one solid heavy crate, so they just kind of piece stuff together to, to put it in and then put it on the pallet. A lot of pallet straps were broken from shifting and the boxes were tore up, but for the most part, not too bad. I have gouge on, like I said, on the wheel vise here, big old gouge in there. And the biggest part that bugs me is the dent, but when I put that grip tape over it, I think that'll take care of that. And this is what looks all broke out. So I will start working on moving things out of the way to start getting it cut for the wheel releases and lift it up so I can start putting some stuff on there and lube up the the fittings and stuff like that to make sure it does what it's supposed to do. And we'll start from there. Cool, see you in a minute.